Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, this is going to be a Pisces reading. This is a general timeless reading, so whenever you find this is meant for you. Also this is for any Pisces placement, so sun, moon rising, Venus, North Node, Lilith, you name it, okay? Or you could just be curious, there's nothing wrong with that. I am going to meditate with you guys to help us release any negative energy and allow us to be open to receive any of the messages in this reading, okay? So if you're comfortable, feel free to breathe in and out with me. Okay, let's get started, Pisces. So I am going to start channeling before each reading um, and also telling you guys the message or the vision that I see, okay? Um, so for you guys during my channel message this time, I saw a lamb, which I think that's a lamb or a sheep. I know the strength card has like a lamb or a sheep on it, which is interesting because I just did the Leo reading, okay? Um, and that card, I think, came out in one of your previous readings from last week. Okay, so you guys could have some Leo in your chart or have a Leo in your environment. Or it could just be saying um, to, to stay strong or to be strong, Pisces. Okay, so that's that opposing or challenging energy that you have been facing. So it feels to me from it feels to me from that message that you guys are still going through that challenging times okay and cycles sometimes don't end like that okay cycles can take five years ten years seven years two years sometimes you can turn things around in two weeks okay but usually when they're deep rooted pisces it takes a little bit longer okay so that definitely makes a lot of sense also i saw like a spiral um I don't know how to explain it but like it reminded me of like in a movie where like you or like um jigsaw like how his face is like a spiral if that makes sense i don't really watch horror movies anymore so i don't think that that's making sense but it's like a spiral of black and white okay and it was like spiraling inwards and it was a it was a blackness and then the spiral came back too okay so it felt like maybe you guys are spiraling out of control or you feel like that your life is spiraling out of control um, or you may be lost. It could mean that you're going inward because it was spiraling inward and it's black and white. So duality. So maybe you guys are trying to find balance between your shadow and your light energy or masculine or feminine energy. OK, if you're not doing that, then I feel like that that is a message saying that you need to go within and balance that. OK, so very similar. I'm sorry I pushed you. Guys back. I'm so sorry about that. Very similar from last week, Pisces. OK, so let's draw three cards. Interesting. OK, we have coming out first, Pisces, three of wands, fire energy. Coming out secondly, Ace of Cups, okay? So you want a new love or you want a new beginning in love, Pisces, okay? It could be romance, but it could be friendship. It could be family. It could be career, okay? That's that's an interesting combination with the Three of Wands. Ooh, okay. Coming out third is Ten of Pentacles. Okay, very deep. So definitely a new beginning in, in romance, okay? Family, three of wands, you, you're wanting to manifest something for sure. Um, embark on a new path. It could be with the, a new person, or it could be wanting to reach a higher level of commitment and dedicate yourself more to the family that you've already created, okay? Or the person that you're already with, okay? You could have children with the person, you could not. It depends. Um, I'm going to give one card for outcome for you Pisces. Okay. And then we'll kind of go over the cards a little bit more in depth of what I see. One card, one card. I'm going to just pull one Pisces. We'll pull that one. Um, so number 17, the star card. Okay. This is interesting. This came out in Leo's reading as well, too. Somebody definitely has 
a placement in Leo. Okay, I picked up on that energy last week. Okay, or that could be the energy that you're embodying is to live from your heart, to be courageous, to be brave in love, to take the initiative to go after things. You, you definitely are starting a new path, Pisces. Um, or you want to extend the path that you're already on with the three of wands, okay? Fire energy. So like I said, definitely a fire placement or you're dealing with the fire sign. But your energy is very fiery, okay? Ace of Cups, water energy. Ten of Pentacles, earth energy, okay? So you want to be balanced mentally, physically, and spiritually. That was similar energy that we got from last reading, okay? So there's a decision that ha that hasn't been made that needs to be made, okay? It's either to push things forward in the connection that you're already in or break away from it and start something new with someone else, okay? This could also mean um, to, to find love within yourself with the Ace of Cups coming out. That's all, that, that is all, so what I'm picking up on. So if this isn't about you going towards someone or furthering connection with someone and this is my general reading okay so we haven't even got to the love portion yet okay but it is almost february that's valentine's day so i feel like people get more heavily focused on love at at the top of the year and in february just because it's a new year and then we roll right into valentine's day okay which is kind of ingrained in our mind to focus on love around that time okay and there's a whole history about february okay that's just not something that we started in the 20th century um and this is that's interesting okay because we have the the aquarius the the star card coming out which represents aquarius okay and that's your outcome so pisces you could be wanting to go towards an aquarius in the month of february if and if the person isn't an isn't actually an aquarius excuse me pisces you could be making a decision to further things that to go towards them in the month of February. Also, Pisces birthday start in February. I didn't even know, think about that. Okay, so this could be a new cycle for you in, in the month of February because this is the Aquarius card. So in January or February, because that's the time frame of Aquarius birthday, okay? That's very deep. Um, so, but you definitely want a wish fulfillment. Okay. And I think I totally got sidetracked it with that message about February, but the Ace of Cups, uh, Pisces, the, the greatest romance you will ever experience is with yourself. Okay. So this could be a need just to go towards yourself. This could be why you're, um, you are, you are in a connection or if you're single, okay, you might just need to actually deepen that bond with self though with self okay and that may happen during um aquarius season or going into your birthday season for you okay beautiful energy though beautiful energy but you're definitely focused on love and family okay i'm not picking up on career i'm not picking up on career but it does have to do with romance and family life okay um i'm not gonna drag that out so i'm gonna move on to our love reading okay Mm. okay we'll take four cards um for your love reading pisces okay so i'm gonna do a little bit differently this time i'm gonna do um your how how you perceive the person a card for how they perceive you a card for your emotional blockage and then a card for their emotional blockage, okay? And I feel like I'm going to take a card for outcome for you, okay? I didn't do that for Leo, but for you, I feel like that it's needed, okay? So let's just pull three more cards. And I'm going to leave them flipped over. And then we'll flip them as we talk through them, okay? So one more card for their emotional blockage. We'll take the one that fell down first. Okay. So how do you perceive them, Pisces? We have coming coming out um, the Eight of Cups, your perception of them or your perception of their emotions. Um, you feel that the person walked away from you. 
that's that's literally what the image represents you feel like that that they walked away into the into the horizon excuse me pisces into something bigger and better a brighter future um you could be observing them somehow okay um I'm not sure how you are keeping up on them or this could be vice versa. If it doesn't resonate with you by season, just flip it. Um, but you feel like that things are bigger and better for them. That could be generally what you're feeling emotionally, or you could be seeing that with your own eyes. But I definitely don't feel like that you're in connection with this person. If you feel that way. Okay. Eight of cups literally means that you walk away from negativity. So, you feel that the person thinks negative of you possibly that's interesting um and they walked away from you to something better mm. leo reading was about someone getting away okay that seems to be heavy energy that a lot of people are trying to reconnect with other people okay so that's your perception and then for their perception, four of cups in reverse, okay? You could be dealing with the water sign because there's a lot of cup energy here, okay? So could be Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Um, four of cups in reverse. The person feels like their emotion or how they perceive you feels like a lost opportunity. I don't know if they feel you lost out or or if they lost out Pisces. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Um, what is their um or what is your emotional blockage? The devil in reverse. Interesting. Interesting energy, Pisces. Okay, kind of heavy, a little heavy. It's kind of intense. Um, the devil in reverse. This is your emotional blockage, and I'm going to be honest with you, Pisces, I feel like that you are a little bit obsessed about this connection. It could be currently still going on. This could be a present connection. I don't feel like that this is a new person coming in. You could be trying to call in this person or trying to manifest them back into your reality, Pisces, if you are in connection with them. If you are, maybe you feel like that the person is pulling away from you. But with the Eight of Cups and Four, four of Cups in reverse, it definitely doesn't feel like someone that, that is in connection or possibly on, on good terms with each other. And with the Devil in reverse, well, it's, well, it's in reverse. So that's your blockage. So you could have let go of, of like your possible obsessions in this bond. Because in reverse, but I feel like you are very obsessed with this connection. And possibly trying to make things right. And like I said, if that's not your energy, um, Pisces, I feel like that that's the other person. Or it could be mutual. You guys could mutually both be obsessed. Okay. That is, that's heavy energy for your emotional blockage, okay? So if you're feeling that way, Pisces, there's, there is definitely a need for you to express those emotions, okay? Sin, and also, since it's in reverse, Pisces, this could also mean that you're not, you're not showing that you care so deeply to the person or to other people. You may just not be sharing this, okay? Um, and sometimes, Pisces, when we're not comfortable with sharing it with the person, we may just need to um, share with a, a friend or a family member or journal it, okay? Because um, it's not healthy to to hold in such deep, heavy, intense emotions. Because I feel a lot of intensity coming from that card, okay? And, and honestly, the devil card is one of my favorite cards in the deck. And I usually don't feel that way. I feel like codependency sometimes puppet energy or trying to control other people or trying to control yourself or your addictions things like that but for me it is repressing emotions and truly obsessing about someone or energy or place or something okay what's in their emotional blockage two of pentacles juggling 
So they could have a lot on their plate right now. They're trying to balancing, trying to balance, okay? Pinnacles also always means to me, it's earth energy. So to me, it always represents grounding and a need for balance, even if it wasn't two of pinnacles. So the person is trying to balance themselves, become more grounded. That's in their blockage, okay? So they could be totally not focusing on you right now, Pisces. And vice versa, if that's if you feel differently, then just take it how it resonates with you, okay? Um, but yeah, the person or you could just not be really focused on the situation. Um, they could be focused on other things or have a lot of things on their plate where they can't really focus on you. And maybe that's why you are obsessing because you're not getting the attention that you want or need. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, Pisces, we have two of swords. So blindly making a decision. There's definitely a need for a decision to be made. Okay. Five of Pentacles energy. Okay. Needing to walk through the door. Um, a bit of sadness. That's that heavy energy that, that I, like I was feeling again, Pisces, with the devil card in reverse in your emotional blockage a lot of sadness that you feel from this connection coming out after that temperance okay sagittarius energy duality that i mentioned earlier with the sun and the moon okay um you are able pisces to learn a very deep lesson from this connection okay and gain a lot of wisdom and you may have already okay if you haven't it's just about our perception okay there is there is an opportunity for you to grow okay and i thought about the star car because this could be literally an opportunity it could be physically a person or this could be inner turmoil and conflict within pisces okay um, there is a strong need to heal and go within and do some self work and to do some shadow work. Okay. And we, I feel like we talked about that in like the past one or two readings. Okay. So there's still a strong energy for somebody watching that you have to go within. Okay. And your choice, the two of swords could just mean you having the choice to go within or you having the choice to stay the same and and just to continue to feel that heavy dark sadness obsessing energy that you've been within not been within that you have been experiencing pisces okay nine of cups wish fulfillment again okay so star energy literally means wish fulfillment nine of cups literally means wish fulfillment okay or it could mean that you felt something has slipped away from you or you are not focusing on what you already have and you're reaching for other things okay the sun card again okay i talked about how this showed up in all of my other readings last week most of them okay and we also talked about the strength card um at the beginning of the reading pisces okay so you want joy abundance happiness you want to be fulfilled also this card if it comes out it means literally the answer is yes okay so i feel like that the card came out a lot in the other readings i did last week and i feel like it came out in yours as well too because a lot of people have choices or decisions that they need to make right now as a collective just the just the shift that we are going through within the world right now. Um, There's some things that we need to release, some bad habits, some unhealthy toxic habits that we've been holding on. That could be people, that could be environments. It could just be stuff that is from our past that we hold within that we do not address Pisces. Okay, so I feel like that that is something that as a collective we are working through. Okay, so whatever is on your mind or you feel that your intuition or heart wants you to do the answer is yes okay so in order for you to move to that sun energy that vibrant radiant happiness joy abundance all the time 
is to make a decision and say yes to whatever you know that you're supposed to do Pisces okay that you've been putting off there's something that you've been putting off right now and whatever you have been putting off that you choose to do that you know that you're supposed to do to end this cycle it will end it for you okay and I say that because we have the world card coming out 21 okay and that's the end of a cycle okay so you can end this cycle and change things for you Pisces you are stronger than what you think you are and you have the strength okay um everything is on the table for you to to have that new beginning in love to have the ten of pentacles um to have wish fulfillment with the star card and the nine of cups okay um you just have to have the strength to walk through the door and push forward and close out the cycle because everything is literally in the palm of your hand pisces okay you're amazing i know that you can do it i believe in you um you will definitely get there okay just keep pushing okay keep pushing um i am going to take a lesson or an advice card pisces it depends on how it resonates for you okay so we're going to take one card one card for you that's a lot of cards <laughs> so we're not going to take all of them pisces okay so just one. I'm going to take this one right here. Well, I grabbed two. So I'm going to take these. It says loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. It says surrender. I can release my need to control. Okay. So there's a need to surrender to your highest, pur your highest purpose um, and to God. Okay. Um, and God is however you see him. He is universal. He can be he, she, he can be it. It can be the universe. It can be spirit. It can be divine. It's however you describe it, Pisces. Okay. God is within you. Okay. So there's a need to surrender to the universe and to, to actually surrender to yourself. Okay. I feel like I, hopefully you guys cannot hear that. It's like a car alarm going off. Um, and maybe that's confirmation that you really do need to surrender to yourself, Pisces, okay? I don't feel like that you're living for yourself. I feel like that you're living for how people perceive you or who, or just who you think you should be. Um, you could also be afraid to be alone, okay? So maybe that's why you're not going on this path because you don't know where the path will lead you with with. With the three of wands coming out in the beginning that's the card i was like i was thinking was it the three of wands or not but that could that could be why you're not um wanting to start a new path okay i'm gonna go ahead and close up the reading because that is so loud you guys i'm so sorry but it definitely had a timing of when it came on okay so there's definitely a um a reason um why that car alarm came on okay i'm gonna take two affirmation cards for you so i have i am breaking generational curses that is deep that is my handwriting it's horrible okay <laughs> be uh, don't um don't judge me pisces okay so definitely some deep rooted healing from childhood um that you need to address or you could be addressing them okay and it could just be very challenging and very painful for you right now and that happens pisces okay but you're definitely definitely breaking generational curses okay and that could be why you feel like you need to make a choice right now okay over happiness or something that you're currently in okay whoever's watching this know that you know how that resonates with you okay the second one is all of my dreams and desires are materializing okay that's very deep Okay, so whatever you're hoping for, you will have Pisces, okay? Um, don't get caught up in the people or exactly how it should play out, okay? You will have the Ten of Pentacles. I just feel like it's going to happen a little bit differently than you hope, Pisces, okay? I'm going to leave it there because I'm almost at 25 minutes, okay? Um, I would truly appreciate if you guys comment, like, share, and subscribe, okay? If you're comfortable, please let me know if this video resonated with you in the comment section. Also, if you have not heard this today, Pisces, you are loved and you are cherished, okay? Until next time, my loves, bye-bye.